All right, I'm going to try this again. For some reason, my camera just went totally out of focus. I thought, I was like, you know, I hope it's the camera and not my eyes. And uh, in review, it was definitely the camera. So, appreciate everybody watching the video right now. I've been teasing in some previous videos for some time that there was some potential big news on a personal level that I was going to share down the road. And now I feel good about sharing it because it's kind of a done deal. So on a personal level, I'm involved in the telecommunications industry. I've been a um, leader in um, that kind of realm for quite some time and um, been involved in a lot of very large upgrade projects. And I have decided to make a change. Um, so I have pursued a job I'm still in that industry, but pursued a job with a different company. And that's going to evolve currently. You know, we live in Kentucky. I'm not originally from Kentucky, but I've kind of moved around based on where work and job and promotions and stuff. And so moving to Georgia, specifically the Atlanta, Georgia area. And so um, had a lot of details to work out with that and didn't want to kind of talk about it but it's been in the back and you'll notice that videos have kind of slowed down getting posted and that's primarily why because it started to get serious with that so now i'm working with realtors both here and there because we're going to sell our house and you know looking buying a house down there and then having to move and if you've seen any videos of our home gym we have a huge home gym and so there's a lot of concern about that actually cut my palm doesn't look like much and it's not much but Got my palm yesterday while a moving estimator was there and Smith machine, the end of the barbell, like a piece of the little chrome, just turned a little, little razor, just jammed right in my freaking palm. Um, but I was training chest today and bench pressing and stuff, and thankfully it's low in the palm, so it really wasn't affecting anything. But um, having said that, so we're getting ready to move. We've got a lot going on. On top of that, my wife is dealing with some illnesses in her family unfortunately and so just a ton of stuff at once but thankfully i'm used to leading very very when i say large-scale projects i'm talking multi-million dollar projects involving hundreds of people and stuff and so coordinating you know moving is small potatoes unfortunately projects i've been leading i'm spending other people's money now I'm spending my own money so that's Got a little different story, so it's much easier on a scale of things, vastly, but unfortunately it's coming out of my pocket. So that's always, it's always better to spend other people's money than my own money. Um, I always joke about that with finance people. I say, you know, there's two things I know about money. I like money and I like to spend money. Whoa. Um, actually, I'm not, you know, we actually kind of live well below our means most of the time. So, um, but also, you know, that's why we can afford to do this stuff, just like making the change, you know, afford to change because we have, you know, quite a bit of assets and stuff to rely upon. And, um, you know, previously, you know, a lot of companies offer like relocation packages, especially once you've, you know, beyond a certain level and everything. And, but um, this one I'm going to doesn't. And so um, I have to fund that out of pocket, but still it's a tremendous opportunity. It's huge. I'm, I'm extremely excited about it. I'm basically building a new system helping build a new system from the ground up something to just be proud of and kind of start this last chapter of my career um, still gonna be making videos and plan on trying to get as much content out as i can but it's gonna get kind of crazy here for a little bit so there may be a little bit of time that's not just especially fortunately really when the channel's kind of picking up too um but um in the long run it'll be great uh, we're gonna have much probably a larger space too so it'll be interested to see what the new studio looks like i use that term jokingly because this here room is like an all-in-one and it's my home office it's where i do recordings where we do gaming just you know, everything so you can do some of my hobby stuff here and um so you know, hopefully now we might be able to separate some of that stuff out um funny too doing some of the virtual interviews you know, obviously i took down the giant Darth Vader with the Doctor Who scarf on it. 
um, to do the interviews, but I did leave the championship belt. And I'm always like, you're not going to take that down. And I said, no, I want them, uh, they're going to see that belt. They're going to see a winner. They're going to see the top shelf. So I wanted to leave that up. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, but whatever. So that's the news. So bear with me as I go through this. I posted a video Monday. It was Monday. It might have been Tuesday. It might have been Wednesday. I don't know. Days are kind of blurring together right now. Had a lot going on. Um, still do have a lot going on. And we'll continue to have a lot going on. I got a meeting at 6.30 today with the uh, realtor. Got a meeting tomorrow afternoon. Got another meeting tomorrow, Sunday afternoon. With, um, and so yesterday we had a meeting with a couple moving estimators. And just all going to come pretty fast. And reality is with my new start date and everything, I may have to be a little travel and stuff. But it'll be a fun time. So, um, kind of my last couple of videos have been a little more demonstrative and high level. And some of that's been forced upon me. I've just been busy. So I've been able to put in a lot of time. Um, thinking about revisiting that week three, I did it in a more narrative sense. And I didn't do it in a go through the war plans and everything. And so I'm thinking about going back to it and actually covering the actual plans. You know, I, war plans from there and stuff. So... Um, that may be the actual next video, and I got one kind of cooking up on nu how nuclear war, how nuclear weapons would affect naval warfare. U.S. has done a lot of testing on this, did a lot of testing on this um, after um, World War II, so it's interesting, uh, kind of what they know um, as far as you know, air burst versus undersea burst, the distance, survivability of the ships, um, a lot of different factors. And it's just interesting in general because there's a lot of different weapons, you know. You have your, uh, you know, regular nuclear missiles, nuclear bombs, gravity bombs that all can be employed. We also have nuclear-tipped cruise missiles. You have nuclear-tipped torpedoes. You have nuclear depth charges. I mean, it, it runs the gamut. And we, you know, anything we can find, we're sticking nukes on them. You know, um, it, it's you know, scary to think about <laughs> Hey, we have something. We have artillery shells. Let's stick nukes on them. Hey, we have a man portable one, the Davy Crockett. Let's put a nuke on it because let's have a bunch of guys rolling around in Jeeps with flying nukes on the back um, and everything. So some interesting developments in the world, too, geopolitical sense. And so we'll see what happens there. But stay tuned for my next video. I just wanted to cover this and finally make this announcement and let people know that I'm not going anywhere. If you see the video upload slow down, it's just because I'm moving. So, have fun. Thanks, everybody. Have a great weekend. Drink a few. I'm going to drink a few tonight. So, have a good one.